Hey guys, 10 millimeter racing here. We're in the uh, 10 millimeter racing pad. <laughs> uh, just hanging out today. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about some of the future projects for the Integra. And as you can see, we have a Honda Access box here. Um, so this will be is going to be the next project coming up for the Integra. All right. So Honda Access box. We have the JDM. Oh, they're a little dusty. Integra. These are the visors. Uh, cannot wait to install these. I've been putting it off for way too long. Way too long putting these off. So I'm thinking uh, the next couple days we'll get these installed. All this beautiful hardware. Shout out to uh, Matt from ICB Motorsports. Hooking this these pieces up, you know these are these are still out there, guys. Brand new in box, so uh, you know don't don't think twice before uh, getting them because they'll be discontinued soon. They'll be discontinued soon. So yeah, this is the next project for the Integra, getting these visors on. Um, I've taken a couple pictures with them mocked up, so I just gotta actually get to do that. All right. So that's that, and then. Uh, that's the small project I'm working on. The next project I'm working on is switching to OBD1. So we got this uh, beautiful OBD1 uh, ECU here. <laughs> um, for those of you guys who don't know, I was running um, an AEM Series 1 ECU for the longest time. Uh, shout out to HMO Motorsports for hooking this up. Nice guys over there. Make sure to check them out. Super good prices. Super uh, good ship times. Um, so yeah, the gonna go OBD1. Uh, gonna start running coil on plug. Um, with the coil on plug and the um, AM, it just doesn't work out. It's not really, you can't run your tachometer and there's a bunch of other problems. Uh, so I think I'm gonna hold on to the AM series one for a bit just cause it, I did put a lot of money into tuning, tuning what's on it. And then another reason for running the um, Honda uh, ECU is you get the the better base map to start tuning with um, so it's the fuel curves and stuff are way better in the startup it's I could get into it but I won't bore you guys uh, if you want you can always direct message me we can uh, we can talk about it over a cool glass of iced tea or something so yeah uh, OBD ECU uh, first piece of the coil on plug conversion uh, that, so that'll be coming up fast and uh, quick um, and then also, uh, I got this awesome uh, t-shirt here, Helmet Gloves Time Attack. Can't wait to get back autocrossing out there. This is from a company called um, Moto Lyric, I think, Moto Lyric. Yeah, Helmet Gloves Time Attack. Cool little shirt there. Oh, oh yeah, shout out to the guys at HMO Morris, where they really just loaded up with goodies here. Tons of goodies, just license plate holders, tons of stickers, all with the ECU, great price. And then uh, also, if you guys have been following along, uh, I got my steering wheel. I, I re, uh, redid the leather on it. So coming up, I need to get it restitched because I want to make sure I still have the red stitching there. As you can see, I, <laughs> I leathered over the red stitch. And so this, this is definitely going to be a project coming up. The steering wheel there. And then, uh, yeah, so I've got to get that restitched. All, all ready to restitch. Leather's looking great. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And uh, yeah, I'll probably uh, put that back in the car because I feel better with an airbag, you know, even if it is a bunch of years old. <laughs> awesome. So that's uh, that's what's coming up for the Integra. Coil on plug. No, oh, first of all, the yeah, visors. Coil on plug, slowly but surely. I'll have the rest of the, rest of the parts in. The rest of the Honda data and S300 and coil on plug conversion from Honda data. Uh, old steering wheel back on. Now it's got once it's got restitched, and then we're gonna hit autocross. Yeah, and that's the plan for the Integra. Thanks for watching, guys.